with Aaron later. We'll keep across that, but that's Amazon buying Whole Foods. The cost, $13.7 billion. We're going to go back now to our top story. We know that at least 30 people have died in the Grenfell Tower fire in London. I'm joined by Professor Kostas Tavdaridis, who's an expert in structural engineering at the University of Leeds. Professor, thank you for joining us on Impact. Um, we hear about uh, materials on tower facades, some of them not being fire resistant, but high temperature resistant. So what's the difference when you're deciding which kind of material to use? Yeah, so first of all, we have to understand that um, some are materials that may be uh, fire resistant, uh, but uh, at the end of the day, it's not the material itself what it matters, but is the whole block, is the whole uh, panel that, um, uh, that is assembled uh, all together and how that performs. And equally, it's, uh, it's important to understand how the whole system, uh, when these facades are attached to the building, are installed. So uh, the, the difference, the main difference between um, high temperature and fire resistant materials is that the, um, the fire temperature ones, they've been tested in furnaces um, on uh, high, very high temperatures where there is smoke and then uh, there is a, the, the, some flame and fire uh, performed. But um, it, it, on the other hand, what we have to be testing uh, in order to understand how these kind of facade systems are behaving is uh, the whole building, a part of the building. So uh, doing proper flame resistant uh, tests and flame response tests uh, on uh, ambient environment. So having the, a part of the structure built out there and, and tested in, in fire to understand how that uh, behaves and in fact how the flames and the smoke is propagating from floor to floor. And I know you've looked at other examples of, of fires like this around the world. Uh, Dubai, for example, very dramatic uh, flames that, that spread very fast. That was 2015. Exactly. So uh, the, the most recent one, which is very similar, is the, uh, the downtown uh, Dubai hotel. Um, again, a residential building, but uh, the main difference is that this is a hotel, so people can evacuate uh, quite quickly. On the other hand, we have here a residential building with a lot of uh, combustible materials, obviously kitchens, all these gas, gas pipes. Uh, so uh, quite a different scenario. And we shouldn't forget that uh, the Dubai building is built with uh, new standards. Um, so there is this uh, concept of compartmentation where you're trying to, um, to restrict the fire uh, on, on certain areas, certain units of every floor, where the structure we have here in London is a, an old type structure with uh, just one uh, stair stairwell cases. Uh, so there isn't um, much of uh, space for people to evacuate, in fact. And, and another area I know you've looked for lessons from this is uh, Shanghai five years earlier, an apartment block that was being renovated, wasn't it, when the fire broke out? Yes, exactly. The, so this is a, a quite different scenario, although this is again a residential building, uh, it was during uh, ongoing uh, fabrication. So uh, the, the, um, the investigation found that it was because of the um, sparks from uh, welding that they actually uh, started the fire and the scaffolding, which was all around the building, was, uh, was in, in flames and uh, blade and, and, and blaze and um, and the whole building then it was um, it was in fire but uh, it, it is we have to appreciate that is uh, is a different scenario so it is important nowadays to um, actually look at what is the exact reason uh, how this um, this fire began and and uh, once we know that what we can do in order to protect it so there are a lot of questions that need to be answered at this uh, at this point for the particular event in london and we have to to to, to first um, investigate these before we actually claim uh, what was the main uh, what the main problem uh, although we have to appreciate again that um, there is always a chain of effects which is happening during uh, such an event professor tapta readers thank you so much for joining us we appreciate thank you your expertise me. thanks um, just time before we finish this edition of Impact to tell you about an invention. Scientists in Japan have developed a swimming 